everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms. We've got Alec back today. What's up, guys? And we got on some fancy looking pistols not too long ago, and I've been kind of wanting to talk about them some, and uh, kind of compare them to the Glock 19X, because we've got the Shadow Systems MR920, and we've got the Zev Technologies OZ9. And we kind of want to break them down just for a second. Well, not, you know, like physically break yeah. them down, because YouTube hates us. But uh, talk about each one really quick, and let's just start off <laughs> with Old Faithful here, mm -hmm. Glock 19X. Now, the Glock 19X we have right here is gonna be the representation of your basic Glock. Granted, the 19X isn't a basic Glock. Yeah, I was about to say, that's kind yeah. of a poor representation of a basic Glock. I mean, yes, yeah. yeah, so we all are mostly familiar with the Glock brand, Glock 19, which is probably, arguably, one of the best everyday carry pistols mm -hmm. ever made. Yeah. Right? I've got a Glock 19 Gen 4 that mm -hmm. I've had, you know, customized out to pretty much look like the Shadow Systems. Yep. And after the money that I've spent on my Glock 19 to look like this, yeah. I wish I just bought this to begin with. Yeah, I've got yeah. a Gen 3 I've had for like, years yeah. and years. But one thing that I can say about the Glock, 1911 owners enter the chat now, is this is probably one of the most reliable guns ever made. It just I'd say works. it is the most reliable gun ever made. Would you? The most? Yeah. Oh man, I'd like to hear y'all's thoughts about that down in the comment section, but I will say I agree mostly. I don't know about the most reliable. I just don't, I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I will say, hands down, it's seen service is being in use by military yep. and law enforcement agencies yeah. all across the world, mm -hmm. and in including in the US. I mean, heck, the Marines have adopted you know, different variations of the Glock, mm -hmm. and it's been obviously in just about every law enforcement agency. Everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. uh, unless it's a Smith & Wesson MP of some sort. Yeah. So a basic Glock will definitely get the job done. But there are some things about a basic Glock that just aren't great. Yeah. Now, granted, the 19 is not a, the 19X is not a basic Glock, right? It does have a better sights. These are what are these Trigicon? Yeah. Is that what those are? Night sights. Yeah. yeah. Well, these are Glock factory night sights. Mm -hmm. So the Glock night factory night sights are a lot better than the Glock little plastic factory sights that had the little U-shaped yeah. white dot. I'm I'm just not a fan of those. I don't really ever get that great of a sight picture with them or anything. So anyway, these sights that they come with on the 19X, mm -hmm. much better. Oh yeah, for sure. But what about the trigger? Uh, I mean, I, I feel like at this point, I mean, unless you're like a first time, you know, Glock purchaser or mm -hmm. whatever, I mean, I feel like you, you know, you you know what to expect with the Glock yeah. trigger. It's not great, it's not awful. Right. It's something that goes bang. It's reliable. Yeah, exactly. That's it is reliable. And um, so for like a duty or everyday carry firearm, what more could you ask for? Yeah, exactly. It's reliable. And again, like I said, nothing to write home about, but it's not awful yeah. either. So for instance, let's go ahead and just take a look at the 19X here. Just gonna start applying a little bit of pressure, a little bit of travel, a little bit of squish, and then the reset, a little bit more travel, there it goes. And mm -hmm. nice audible reset, just a little click there, all right? So what's cool about the 19X though is you do have an ambi slide release. Uh, the mag release, however, is only on the left side, but you can switch it to the right side, so easy enough. And that's really about it. Other than it being a 17 frame, so you do have the 17 round mag that it comes with, but it also comes with two of the, are these the plus? Yeah, plus, plus two. two base plate. So 19 rounds, so you have, <laughs> Glock 19, there you go, 19 <laughs> rounds. Um, but that's not why it's called the 19. Yeah. But anyway, it does. I was about count. to say, you're really about to mess some people up. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not, it's not why it's called the Glock 19. But in two of the mags out of the three it comes with, does have 19 round capacity. So plus one in the chamber, you've got a 20 round overall capacity, which is great capacity, mm -hmm. especially for an everyday carry. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah, the only thing that I do not like about the 19X that I wish Glock would have done was put the front side serrations on it like uh, they did the yes. 45. Yes, yes. Like, I, I don't know why like you did it on the 45, but you didn't do it on the 19X. Like, so come I, on, I pretty much sent my slide off to get milled and mm -hmm. look almost like identical to this, yeah. right? Uh, I've got a different cuts elsewhere, but I really wanted just a little bit lighter slide. Lighter mm -hmm. slide typically means a little bit faster action, right? And a little bit less felt recoil because it's not as much mass coming back, right? But uh, I really like this, 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 mm -hmm. you know? Having that serration there because, yeah, I'm a press checker. Yeah. I got one in the chamber. Extract, the extractor's got a lock on it. I'm good to go. Let's go, right? Mm -hmm. The Shadow Systems comes out of the box. Uh, almost like this. Does not come with the Streamlight or the RMR, but it does come with the base plate to cover the RMR cut. 
but you do get already a threaded barrel mm -hmm. that's got that awesome, you know, a little, little bronze yeah. color too. Yeah, the bronze color, but also too got the um, spiral flutes. Spiral flutes. Oh, thank you. That's, yeah. This is why I need you. Uh, but anyway does have that. You've already got a very easy to pick up Ameriglo front sight, standard rear uh, back sight there, and also to the RMR cut is nice and deep, so that way you do get at least a one-third co-witness with an RMR or whatever the type of optic you decide to go yeah. with. I'm a fan of this guy. I love the grip job and everything else. It feels good, great mm -hmm. stippling. What are your thoughts? No, I like them a lot, man, especially uh, the price point that these things come in at. So if you guys haven't been able to tell, this is kind of like the We'll go lowest price to middle price to like highest price, whatever. But I mean, kind of like Clint mentioned, you know, if you're gonna send off a Glock to get work done to it to make it look like this anyways, like you can buy it straight, you know, essentially from the factory like this anyways. Um, it's nice too, little flared magwell action going on. I mean, overall, it just feels really, really nice. These have a really nice trigger. Um, we'll just go ahead and get this trigger real quick together. Um, it's interesting too that these have a smaller, I guess, safety mechanism yeah. compared to like the traditional Glock. So it, it feels really nice in the hand, but you can see that guy coming down right there. Little bit of take up and then, I mean, that's the wall right there. Yeah. I mean, it barely moves. And then a little bit of pressure and then it comes back. Yep. yep, and then the reset, so you can see that. Super yeah. short on that guy. Definitely, wall again. Definitely a fan of that, that trigger for sure. Oh yeah. And it feels good and it looks good. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, if you were going to take, you know, X amount of dollars to buy this right. and then spend X amount of dollars to make it look like this, realistically, I would even venture to say that you might be coming out for the better buying something like this. Yeah, right off the box, you already get all the all the stuff that I pretty much turned my Exactly, into, that's what I'm saying. So. Well, yeah, and depending, obviously, like, well, that's another thing that's cool about Glocks, man. I mean, literally, you can do basically whatever to yeah. this, like, your heart's content. You know yeah. what I mean? So you can make it completely yours. You know, if you want to have an upgraded Glock that, you know, might look like someone else's whatever, but, you know, you're not super particular about what you want, then I would definitely recommend um, the way to go would be this. Yeah. No doubt absolutely. about it. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Again, just the attention to detail and everything else they have in this guy is awesome. And they recently mm -hmm. just came out with the, uh, was it the 921? I think is what it was. The DR. Is DR. The duty ready? Yeah, yeah. the DR. Okay. And it's a pretty much the full size. So this is kind of like your Glock 19 size, right? Mm -hmm. Glock 19 frame. So you got the 15 round mag pull that it comes with or PMAG. And then also a little bit shorter barrel. The 17 has a little bit longer barrel, a little bit longer frame. That's really all there is to it. And they just came out with that full size uh, Shadow Systems DR, mm -hmm. which is something, of course, I'm ready, ready, yep. ready to get in, get yep. in here, you know? Uh, also too, when it comes to the grip, I do like the undercut that we get on this. Yeah, I was here. literally getting ready to talk about that if you didn't start. Yeah, because I, I think shooting a Glock, they're easy, they're comfortable enough, they feel great, but if you can get a little bit higher grip or some, mm -hmm. People like to say a little bit higher purchase yeah. uh, on the grip <laughs> itself. That just makes it because then you get a little bit lower bore axis. Whatever you can do to try to get mm -hmm. that bore as low to the hand, your grip as high up as you can. So that way everything's pretty much straight here. Again, it helps mitigate recoil or helps be able to manage recoil a little bit better. And it also just feels better. Yeah. So you'll notice this is what I'm talking about right here. That little <clears throat> undercut right here. And you get just a little bit of that with this guy on the 19X. So, mm -hmm. definitely feels good on here. Yeah, I think it was definitely a good move, um, you know, when they went with the Gen 5s, taking away the finger grooves. I personally yeah. wasn't a fan of the finger grooves. Yeah. Um, and again, I feel like one of the first things that you do, or what most people typically do when they go, you know, either want to stipple their Glock or, you know, upgrade mm -hmm. it or whatever, is they do the undercut, and yeah. then they take away the finger grooves, and then they stipple it all the way around. Yeah. Basically, which is what this already has. And this feels better than like an out the box Glock yeah. would. Um, but it still feels like a Glock though, which is an interesting point that we'll talk about when we move on to this guy. Yeah, and let's go ahead that and actually, does not. Uh, yeah, well, but actually before we move on to that, uh, I still get some questions like, you know, stippling, I wanna do my own stipple job, things like that. Don't do your own stipple. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just got to say it, man. Yeah. I've no, tried it. I mean, unless you're, you know, really talented with a stipple machine, man, yeah. just, just, just have somebody yeah. go do it for you. And uh, the question that is sometimes asked too is like, is it worth it, right? Well, it really depends. If you can run your gun just fine without it, and I'm talking about not running it, just doing some stationary moves, you know, going to an indoor range and doing one, sh one shot per second, whatever else. <laughs> eh, okay, cool. Anybody can shoot anything under those circumstances. Go yeah. out there and actually practice with your stuff. Get some sweat on your hands and start like 
working out with your gun mm -hmm. and see if you still are able to get that same grip have that same control of your firearm minus the stippling. If you find yourself starting to kind of start to wiggle around in your hand or something like that, soak your hands. You know, do whatever it is. To put your gun yeah. in adverse conditions. Shooting in most comfortable conditions isn't reality, no. right? So go out there, sweat a little bit, and then start trying to dry fire whatever it is and practice with your firearm. And if you notice that you're not getting that same grip each time, you might be slipping, something like that, then maybe, maybe something as simple as a stipple job will help. Mm -hmm. Okay, rant over. Yeah, I would say, and there's a lot of good, like, you know, obviously like YouTube training videos and stuff like that that you can yeah. watch. There's one in particular I'm trying to think of, and I, I can't remember the guy's name, but he talked about, he was a police officer, a SWAT officer, or something like that. Um, he got shot in the arm, like in a firefight, and, and yeah, it was like gushing down his arm, whatever. Yeah. Um, so, like, obviously, like he transitioned to his good arm, but like his pistol was covered yeah. in blood, um, and it was just you know a factory, probably a Glock Gen Four or something mm -hmm. like that, um, whatever his department was issued. But he was like, you know, literally like every time I shot this thing, like it would slip yeah. out of my hand because mm -hmm. it's like covered in blood. You know what I mean? So personally, I think at, at some yeah. point, if it is completely covered in blood, I don't know how much of a stipple job is going to help you. Yeah, I don't know. Well, <laughs> but yeah. it might help just enough yeah, to exactly. be able to actually secure hold on to your firearm yeah don't know I think they're worth it I like yeah. them. that being said don't go out there and start stabbing yourself or shooting yourself in the yeah, arm to see if your stipple job works yeah. okay uh, there we go so we've got that covered anyway let's move on to something completely different because it's not a Glock this is the Zevtec OZ9 and this thing is bad yeah now what makes this thing really different compared to the other two we've talked about is its modularity because this gun you can resize the frame resize the grip make it whatever type of carry gun mm. conceal carry whatever you want to do just as you see it right here we actually spoke to zev tech uh two years ago back when shot show was still a thing yeah and uh, they showed us just how simple it is to actually like shorten the barrel on the slide, shorten the grip, shorten the frame, whatever mm -hmm. you want to do uh, to make this thing actually, you know, completely user defined, whatever, yep. whatever you guys wanted it to do. And it was really neat. Now we also know too, I see it comes with a P mag. I see it's a Zev P mag and, or Magpul and Zev got together and they're making, yeah. they're making it, they're making it. Go ahead and just leave us a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> anyway, this guy feels nothing like a Glock in my mind. Um, it, you guys can probably go ahead and take a look at nice aggressive stipple job, <laughs> more stippling, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but not so rugged or aggressive that I feel like I'm losing skin. Mm -hmm. Compared to the Glock here, you'll notice just a difference in size when it comes to the grip itself. This guy definitely feels wider. Yeah, it's big, yeah. Yeah, so, but it, man, it feels good. It does feel good. Yeah, everything about this guy feels really good and I can honestly say you're getting what you what you pay for. Yeah, I think so. because these things ain't cheap. Mm. Like that's that's all there is to it. You're looking you're looking you know above fifteen hundred dollars for this pistol, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, again, I think about what I've dropped into my Glock, mm -hmm. and it's not modular. Yeah, I'm like. I could have had this, definitely, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. What are your thoughts? No, I like them a lot. I think uh, for me personally, um, and granted, I don't have like giant man hands or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I've talked about my girl hands before um, on the videos, but to me, like if I'm bringing it up to shoot it, uh, I I like the uh, flared you know, no, magwell well. that they mm -hmm. have. I wish it was a little bit further down, like yeah. maybe if they could have extended this a little grip, because um, when I'm getting my you know secondary grip on this, I find that I'm really rubbing this, um, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like throwing me off a little bit. Another thing with that too is if this was mine personally, I would probably throw a base plate um, on here. So as you can see with the uh, the magwell that's on here, it really kind of covers this guy. So granted, I mean it drops free, it's fine. But, but if, if something know, were to happen, you need to rip yeah, that you had to rip this mag out. Like I don't have fingernails, so like I can't really. Yeah. And if you did have fingernails so. in there, the uh, the amount of force it takes to rip a magazine, yeah, it wouldn't from, be good. Yeah, you you'd be in a lot of pain. Just may as well just go to the slow one oh, at the yeah. time if you can. Yeah, at that for point. sure. But, um, yeah. but overall, man, I mean the the aesthetics on these are incredibly nice. And yeah. again, I think if you're looking for something like this, you're not necessarily looking for a Glock. I think yeah. you're looking just for a really nice modular yeah. handgun. Um, these put me in mind a lot of the uh, like Zero Delta is another oh, company yeah. that has like the mod I think it's the modulus pistol. Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of do all this crazy stuff with it. So these are becoming very, I would say, trendy. Now again, they are 
are expensive. Um, but again, you get what you pay for. Very nice trigger, you know, lights you could throw on here, optics. The fact know. that it's got a real Picatinny rail, much like the Shadow Systems is yeah. nice too, versus just the just accessory the light, rail. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So. so you can actually throw on different variations of things, which is cool. Yeah. And it does have the RMR cut, as you guys can see right here with the integrated base plate, just mm -hmm. like on the Shadow Systems. Yep. It's also very cool. Now Glock does make their MOS slides as well, which has that RMR cut. Um, it's pretty much everything you need, honestly. Yeah. Uh, but if you want something real fancy, high speed looking, then the OZ, sure, uh, the Shadow System, sure. And of course, if you wanna get your Glock and then do everything yourself, Yep, you more power to you. You know, hey, if you want to save a penny somewhere, that makes sense, right? Do everything that you can within your budget, <clears throat> but at the same time, I would not mind one of those. Yeah, I wouldn't either. A couple of things I forgot to talk about on here too. This does have the um, kind of textured um, mag release, release, and then you also nice. have a uh, kind of you know oversized um, slide release as well. Yeah. Um, and then the trigger on this guy is really nice too. We'll just go ahead and real quick again. Um, it's more of a uh, it's almost more of like a flat trigger. Mm -hmm. than it, I mean, it has just the slightest curve to it. Um, yeah. So, you know, putting your pad on it there. A little bit, again, pretty defined wall. A little bit of back pressure, and then it breaks. Um, and then again, that reset. It was pretty short. Yeah. Um, and the barrel on this guy, too, is pretty cool. So it's like a uh, dimpled, dimpled yeah. barrel. Um, which is pretty nice, you know, kind of helps dissipate heat, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, same thing with the spiral fluting. It just reduces yeah. a little bit of weight and helps with heat mitigation just a little bit on, you know, these pistols like this. I don't know how big of a deal is, is, that is, really. Yeah, I'm not I for think sure. ultimately it's just for the cool factor, right? Mm -hmm. It does look cool. Yeah, it does look, look cool. cool I like it. I, mean, I got a Zev barrel in my Glock, so, yeah. you know, it's like I, I honestly like them. But uh, anyway, yeah, now the OZ-9, uh, the reason we kind of threw this in here is because it is something completely different. It being modular, still striker fired 9 mil, but with all of the fancy stuff that you could ever ask for. And then at the end of the day, <laughs> if you're not training or efficient with any of your guns, then yeah. you don't matter. Mm -hmm. All right, so make sure you're getting out there, you're training, you are becoming efficient. Even if it's plain Jane Glock, if you can run this guy like nobody else, then you're gonna be the most dangerous man, right? So yeah. just stay out there, get out there, train, practice, do everything you can. Study up on your Second Amendment rights. Things are getting weird, so make sure you pay attention to that. But we've had all this trigger talk. Let's talk about a real nice trigger. <laughs> and that is, in our current giveaway, this guy <laughs> is that a beauty. optic is ridiculous. This optic is amazing, all right? <laughs> so first off, this is the SCAR 20S, chambered in 7.62 NATO. And yes, when we saw these Trigicon 5.5 power by 50 millimeter objective lens come in, I was like, well, we need, <laughs> we need one of those. So if I remember correctly, the standard ACOG that like what we're still issued, mm -hmm. uh, four by 32. They're four, like, yeah, 32. Five and a half by 50. Like, God, I, so yeah, yeah this You could fit an ACOG inside of this yes, objective lens. Yes, you could. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a big boy, but the glass on this, I don't think I can actually like, vocalize to y'all or put into words just how clear the glass is on this optic. It's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I really like it. For a fixed magnified optic, I think it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Uh, also to the AccuTac bipod, this is probably one of the most rugged bipods mm -hmm. available. AccuTac makes some amazing equipment and I'm happy that we've got it on this guy here. If you want to see this rifle in action, check out our video announcing it as our giveaway. It just came out yesterday, so don't miss out. And I did talk about the trigger. The trigger is a Geisley Super Scar trigger. Nice mm. little two-stage trigger. I showed that off a little bit in our video as well. And uh, I don't know if you agree with this or not, but if I were to take a SCAR platform, it'd be the 20. Yeah, 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 I would definitely mm -hmm. say so. I like the extended rail over the 17. Yeah. I like that you're going to be pretty much utilizing it, utilizing the cartridge to its full mm -hmm. advantage, whether it be the 7.62 NATO or 6.5 Creedmoor. 6.5 Creedmoor is a lot of fun. Yeah. Nice light recoiling, mm -hmm. fast boy. But uh, 7.62 NATO, tried, true, you can, you can still sometimes find it so yeah sometimes out <laughs> sometimes. there in the uh, magical land beyond yeah um, and I think this is a good optic choice too I mean you know scars are traditionally pretty rough on optics rough on yeah. the old optics but uh, you know I mean You're it's an ACOG man like I mean you could punch this guy in the face insult his mother blow him up with a missile and do whatever and he'd still yeah, most battle proven it. optic yeah. right exactly so cool stuff by the most battle proven Rifle manufacturer, how, how cool is that, right? So there we are. Guys, we're gonna and leave this video out here. We'll see y'all down in the comments section. If you had any experience with Shadow Systems or the ZevTech OZ9, let us know down in the comments. Wanna hear from y'all. And if you'd like to see maybe some live fire with these at a later date, 
let us know. Or if and, you're shadow systems and you want to send us your new pistol, that'd be cool too. Oh, hey, 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 we're, we're here. Okay. All right, all right, we're done. <laughs> hey, we'll leave it there. Guys, as always, we appreciate your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com. <laughs>